Kiyot on a me droogs. It is I, your humble narrator, and I'm in this beautiful Pacific paradise, chilling out in the middle of this valley here. Probably taking you here once, once before. See, it's gorgeous. I brought you guys out here today so I can do a bike reveal. That's right. I got myself a new ride. This time, it's a uh, small uh, off-road sort of trail bike, enduro, dual sport, whatever you want to call it. And uh, without further ado, let's take a look at it. Be a more beautiful backdrop, huh? Yeah, that's right. You're looking at a Yamaha XTZ four stroke 125. It's, it's officially called a Yamaha XTZ E. Um, it's the uh, Southern Hemisphere uh, version of a uh, XT, I, I suppose. Um, you see, it's, it's pretty much a uh, uh, bottom of the line uh, Yamaha um, but you know it'll serve its purposes um, it's great for going off-road here it's really good for cruising on the road um, you know it's small uh, it gets around um, it's, uh, it's light um, and uh, you know it's what everyone drives here and there's a reason that everyone drives these drives these small bikes here it's you know because of uh, trails like this and uh, you know small roads and it'll be perfect for me to do deliveries and um, you know just to bomb around on them and I have a lot of fun adventures with this and we're gonna record them uh, we'll just do a, a quick bike check I guess um, like I said it is a Yamaha 125 um, we've got uh, let's see uh, we've got 66 kilometers on it uh, it's because I've been doing a little cruising around um, let's uh, put it into neutral and uh, start it up for you all right so you can see it's nice and quiet um, definitely a, a difference from the uh, Harley uh, let's give it a Yeah, it's, uh, it's based off of the TTR 125 engine, I believe. So I'm going to be doing some work. Uh, I'm going to be changing the top end to uh, 150 big bore kit. Um, probably um, changing the uh, muffler and uh, pipe here to a uh, Aero uh, brand uh, pipe. Um, I'm going to be sending the uh, flywheel away to be lightened. I'm going to put a heavy uh, clutch spring and uh, better clutch plates. I'm getting a larger carburetor. Um, I'll probably be doing something with these pegs and uh, controls. And I'm going to have brush guards, perhaps. Uh, I like these mirrors. I really like the, the uh, position and the clarity of the mirrors. But I'd like to have some different controls. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be changing out the headlamp also, uh, putting some kind of trick on there. Um, and uh, yeah, those are those those are probably the major mods that I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna I'm just gonna do you know one thing at a time on it. Uh, you can see uh, <laughs> well, I've already got some sand and stuff, but uh, it's brand spanking new, uh, straight from the dealer. Uh, you know, disc brake in front. It's got a drum brake in back. Uh, you know, it's it's, it's it's not the best ride, but um, unfortunately here we really don't have. Much in the way of selection, um, there's a, a heavy tariff on any bikes brought in that are um, over 125. So that's that's what they stick to here, so they can keep the uh, bikes affordable. And uh, that's it. It's got a little rack. Uh, I'm probably going to get a uh, top box for it right here. I don't need anything on the side, but I'd like a nice big top box there. And um, so there it goes. Uh, this is the new, the new ride for Hawaii Sidecar. Um, I'll be cruising around on it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed the bike reveal. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun on it. And uh, this is your humble narrator. Signing out. Aloha, my brothers.
Nice little ride, huh? Look at that. Woo! This little thing goes off-road really well. I enjoy it, I do. Look at this place. Freaking jungle back here. All overgrown right here. Look at that cyclopean jungle. We'll go as far as we can. Oh yeah. This is deep in the jungle of a South Pacific island. Drink in the awesomeness. Oh yeah. That's how I ride. A little nuts. Oh, let's see if we can make it over this, huh? Alright. You ready? This is it. This is the real test. Nice. It's the Tupapa water intake. I really can't go any farther than this. You see, it, it basically, right here, you gotta start walking at this point to take that trail and go inland, which is what a bunch of tourists do, but. You can see there hasn't been much rain recently water intake, there's not much going on in there. Alright guys, let's head back. I got somewhere to be. I'm going to keep the camera rolling. We'll just take a, a cruise. Biking's gonna be fun. Yeah, 
fucking jumping shit and going off road. I better be careful. I don't want to get myself into trouble. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can go back the other way. Let's get into first. Take it easy coming down here. Straight across with power. Nice. Oh yeah. I've joined the small CC club. You know, they all have this kind of tank. The Grom that you guys all got. You know, Miss 808 and whoever that other dude is who got the not not big lobes, it's someone else that, that I've been watching that got that uh got that grom. That's that's pretty popular. And then all you all you enduro riders have just joined your club. That's right. Whoa, look at those ferns right there. Look at those giant prehistoric ferns. Oh man. That's something else right there, huh? Oh yeah. You're going to be doing plenty off-road. Explore all the nice jungle areas on this island for you guys. Put it all on YouTube. Look at that shit. Fall down there and freaking humongous uh, centipedes will probably eat you. That weird-ass cliff right there. Right. I know you guys are enjoying this. Oh yeah. I've been back here a bunch of times because I used to live right right down here, but I haven't been back on a, on a nice little trail bike. There's a spot down here I'm going to take you real quick so you can see it's a marae, a sacred spot, so I'm not going to go too deep into it, but this is a, look at these hundred plus year old palms. This is a, this, this is a sacred spot right here for a, uh, a family. Um, I don't know the family specifically, what their name is or anything, but uh, I've been back here before to show this to you guys. You're not really supposed to go on the Murray unless you're invited, so we won't get too close, but you can see it right here. It's like a, it's like a stone circle meeting place right in there. And uh, they'll have, you know, a whole bunch of people doing ceremonies and um, recognizing important people for their family. Uh, back in there you can see there's some low stone seats where the important people sit. Um, and uh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen videos of, you know, a dozen SUVs and cars out here and, you know, 50 people in here all doing their doing their reenactment ceremonies or whatever they do. It's a nice little spot to have sort of a, a sacred area. So, just thought I'd show that. Now we can cruise. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, oh, oh. Here's my favorite canopy tunnel right here. Look at this. Is this nice or what? I love this. I hope this never changes. 
this canopy tunnel right here. Woo. Yeah, that's the house I first stayed in when I moved here. Deep in the valley in Tupapa. Tiger, how you doing? You good boy. You don't remember me, do you? That's a good dog right there. He's really cute. We're gonna go slow because there's a lot of a lot of older folks in this neighborhood. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the bike reveal. Go, <laughs>